All right, let's see. Forehead lines, how are you looking? Oh my gosh. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to another round of testing out makeup products and also skincare products that went viral. And we're gonna see if it's actually worth it. I bought all these products myself and many of them I got discount on, which just thrills me. And that is thanks to today's sponsor, which is Karma. They are like an all-in-one shopping assistant and they're gonna help you to save money, shop smarter, and also save time because they're gonna alert you of different deals that are going on. I mean, if you want to, I mean, this is the, the so many options. So when you download Karma, it's a free Chrome extension as well as an app, it's going to automatically find and apply the very best coupon code at checkout, which is what I did, as you see, with Winky Lux. You can also organize items that you want to save into these different shopping lists. Then you can get price drop or back in stock notifications just by ticking different boxes on items that you've saved. And then of course you have the opportunity to earn cash back on purchases from such a variety of stores that Karma has partnered with. So make sure you click the link down below to download Karma's free Chrome extension so you don't miss out on all the like spring sales that are like going on right now. I currently have a list of what I've been calling like elevated basics because I'm trying to like go through my wardrobe. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm like completely overhauling and decluttering like everything. But of course, if you're gonna declutter your closet, I mean, you have to fill it with some stuff. That makes sense in my brain. <laughs> Big thanks to Karma for sponsoring today's video. And now let's dive into some makeup. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be testing out is mascara and we're gonna be battling two mascaras by the same brand. Starting with the TikTok famous mascara. This is the Sky High one by Maybelline in blackest black. And I wanna compare this to another Maybelline Sky High mascara because they launched one called Cosmic Black, which is supposed to be the, the, the blackest bl black but this says black is black. So out of a desire to test this and just see what the difference is, I bought both. That way they're both new. I have easy comparison and the cosmic black one is supposed to be beautiful. So let's see if that's actually true. Cause I do like the sky high, like it is a really nice mascara, but it is interesting to me to have two shades of black mascara in this one and then launch a separate one in a blacker black. I don't, I don't fully understand that, <laughs> but like you do you Maybelline. So starting with the classic, put this guy on. Love that I already got mascara on my lip. Awesome. And let's see if the cosmic black is the blackest black versus the blackest black, which is not the blackest black. <laughs> it feels like a tongue twister made for Dr. Zeus. If you have never read Fox and Socks, I highly recommend. It is fun. Who sews Sue's clothes? Sue sews Sue's clothes. Slow Joe Crow sews whose socks? Sue's socks. All right, one coat of each. Do we see a difference? Um, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no, but let's do another coat. All right, everyone, do we notice a difference? If I'm staring at it, I think, I think this one looks blacker, but the difference is quite subtle. It's a beautiful mascara, but I wouldn't say the distinction is super significant. Let's go on to the next product, which I probably should have started with now that I'm looking at it. And this has been more of like a trend that I've seen kind of going around. And this is one brand that I saw over and over again that people kept reaching for. And it's so, I just, I love it. They are reusable silicone masks and not just ones for under the eye, which I have tested in past. I tried the um, Dio ones, which I love, but these are more of them. And this is by Pacifica. They are reusable smile line masks as well as this one's for brow, but I think they also have a bunch of other options as well, including obviously under eyes, but I already have those. So this is basically going to help smooth out your skin and help to um, push the products into the skin more. So it has this little tin here and inside are the masks. So you put on a little bit of serum, not too much. You wanna use like a very minor amount and typically something more in the hydrating world, something that's uh, hyaluronic acid based. And then you stick them on for whatever amount of time you wish to do. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them, they have little stars on them. Oh my gosh, I love them. And we got the brow one. The tins are nice too. Like this is good qualita. <laughs> it's like cloud blue. It's got these fun, like, oh my gosh, I love it. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so I, of course, naturally this morning, just out of habit, just did my whole skincare routine. So now I have to go take it off so I can do 
the, the serum thing. So <laughs> hold on. All right, I have a serum here. I'm gonna put some on the smile line area, just a tiny bit. And then on my forehead, that's the only area that I <laughs> took all of the skincare off. Try not to put a ton on here. All right, let's do this. They say to stretch the skin a little bit like so and then put one side on like that <laughs> awesome and then, oh, it's very sticky on the one side and it's not obviously on the other side and then stretch it a little bit and then put it on looks like i have like a handlebar mustache <laughs> don't smile rachel stop it serious business and then the brows then i'm gonna leave these on while connor naps did the broom literally behind me could not have worked out better in terms of timing. Don't get the hair. Amazing. Amazing. I am a vision. All right. I'm going to let this sit, do its thing, and um, I'll be back. Okay. I've had these on for like a couple of hours now, and I, I have some thoughts, but I need to take them off to just see what's going on here. Ooh. I normally have like a line right here, and it is, it's not there anymore. Oh, okay. Wow. All right, let's see, forehead lines, how are you looking? Oh my gosh. Do you see that? Like, I don't, it's probably not noticeable to anyone but myself, but like when I raise my eyebrows, <laughs> it's not as noticeable up here. That's so cool. Okay, now I have to turn them over sticky side up so they can kind of like dry for a bit. Um, and just quick note, thoughts on them so far, they are very thin thick, like versus the ones that I did um, that were the Dieu um, under eye ones. Those were a really thin silicone. So it just sort of like sat there and it didn't move. These ones are much thicker. And so they're much more willing to slide just a little bit, mostly just the smile line ones, because again, I talk a lot and I should have not been talking at all, but they peeled sort of on their own um, versus the Dio ones. So maybe I'll try them with like a little bit more serum next time, but overall I will be using these again. But now I want to move on to a product that is one ingredient. It's, it's literally one. And I saw a couple of people talking about this as like the best refresh to your skin. I don't know why, but any sort of transition, whether it's into summer months or it's into winter months, it doesn't matter. My skin gets dry. I don't think it likes the shift. It doesn't like change, much like me. So my skin, regardless of how many different serums and moisturizers I put on, always it, it tends to feel quite dry. So I'm excited to try out the Caudalie grape water. It is literally just that, it's just grape water. No preservatives, it's just supposed to moisturize your skin, just a hit of hydration. You can put it on top of makeup, before makeup, doesn't matter. It's not gonna affect it. So I will try it after we have the makeup on, but my skin's feeling dry. So I figured now's a good time. Let's see what the spray's like. Ooh, it's like a light misty mist. Does it smell like grapes? I can't smell anything. Okay, hang on. Pulled back my hair here. Oh, that feels really good. My skin feels very nice. Now, again, I sprayed it with water. Of course it feels nice. So we'll see how it feels once this like dries down. Do the grapes of the grape water <laughs> make it stay hydrated? I don't know. But like as a, like a quick hit to like help refresh your makeup or just if your skin's feeling parched, like that feels great. So now while this is drying down, brush my hair back. We're gonna go on to another battle, except of two different brands, not the same. I have to say, this is probably one of the most interesting concealer battles that I am genuinely invested in. I need to know the outcome of this because both concealers, when I tell you I watched the video, jaw on floor, the transformation was just incredible. So the first one is by Winky Lux, and this is their full coverage under eye concealer. Now, when I first wanted to try this out, it was sold out and they weren't restocking for a while and then I didn't have a video to put it in. So now I get to try it. And this one, I cannot remember the, the woman's name of the video that I watched, but I will, I will find her and I will link her for you because she convinced me to buy this. It was 
amazing how bright and like awake and doe-eyed her whole face looked when she put this on. And then the one that I want to battle it against is a more a newer one that I've seen sort of floating around that people have been trying and falling in love with. And that is by the brand Say, I believe is how it's pronounced, but please correct me if I'm wrong. This one right here, I got this from Sephora. This is the Hydra Beam Sheer Brightening Under Eye Concealer. And this just instant brightness, instant awake, alert, unbelievable under eyes. So you can see in terms of the consistency, they are gonna be very different, but they're supposed to give the same kind of result, like that bright eyed, fresh face kind of a look. So I wanna compare and I'm kind of curious how they're gonna look against each other. Okay, by the way, this is dried down entirely. Um, and you can see like my skin looks kind of like dewy, but it is like entirely dry. Interesting. I would say it feels more moisturized than before, it's not replacing a moisturizer though, but like a quick refresh, I feel like this could work. Okay, concealer time. And as always the case when I <laughs> test out concealers, let's see if they match. I got two different ones in the same. <gasps> Did I, I may have done a good job matching them. Hold on. I think, I think I did okay. Okay, so let's start with the Say one. This is the newer one. And this is the shade HB2, which, <laughs> which in saying that, I understand it to mean uh, Hydra Beam. Okay, let's put this on. Oh my gosh, please let this be okay in terms of a match. Why am I so bad at picking colors that match me? It feels a little dark. Please still work for me though. Okay, I think, I think I can make that work. That looks really pretty, right? Like again, it doesn't match the rest of my skin yet because I haven't put on any foundation yet. But in terms of what it looks like under the eyes, that is really pretty. I think I might need to go and get Shade one though. All right, let's try you, Winky Lux. This is more of like a, a much thicker consistency. You see that? But this has more of a neutral undertone. So I feel like I'm gonna like this one. It's almost moussey too, in terms of the um, the consistency. Honestly, they both give very similar levels of coverage. That just blends into my skin. Do you see that? And it's gone. Um. Okay. Now which one? Uh, oh no, I really like both of them. Okay, let's see what it looks like once I put the foundation on because I do have a, a viral foundation I wanna try. Also, we'll do like an end of day wrap up and actually see how they hold up. But like so far, I feel like I like them both. By the way, I really curled my lashes. They look so similar. I don't really notice any sort of a difference. Like if I just put these on and didn't tell you that I put on two different mascaras, would you be able to tell a difference? I feel like not. So. <laughs> Foundation time. Let's see what shade this ends up being. Apparently I don't know my shade. This is by Danessa Myricks. It's the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. And I've seen so many people just raving about this. And so I'm really excited because I loved the primer and um, I guess it's a foundation, like a tinted foundation kind of thing. The, the combination of those two is beautiful. I ended up getting a darker shade because last time I tried it, it was way too light um, and I'm very happy with it. This is supposed to be very blurring to the skin, like airbrush kind of a finish to the skin. They got a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's supposed to be cutting edge, blurring Swedish technology. Didn't know that. And it's a balm to powder kind of a consistency that's supposed to not only minimize shine, but it's going to keep the hydration in your skin. Cause I always get nervous because my skin is more on the, I would say drier side or dehydrated side. So anything that says it's going to um, mattify or balance oils, I'm like, oh, I just went on the website to make sure that I'm applying it properly. It's already all sold out. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, it won't be sold out anymore. Okay, there are so many more ways <laughs> to use this product than I initially thought. You can either use it on its own for like really sheer coverage. You can set your foundation. You can set and add coverage. You can prime, highlight, contour, world's your oyster. So, okay, that changes things a little. Let's um, put on a little bit of foundation and just see how it works to to set everything to remember <laughs> that i have on concealer i almost applied my primer and just like blended it under my eyes that would have been bad all right i'm gonna use the yummy skin serum foundation but this shade might be a little dark for me today so i'm just gonna add in a little bit of something lighter all right and we will use my real techniques brush that was that shade i feel like we can make that work I always forget how little foundation I need when I use this brush. Like, look how much is still on my hand. Ridiculous, now I have to go wash my hands. All right, I'm back. 
and I looked at the shade that I chose. Now, understand, I, I don't know what's wrong with me right now. I ordered the Danessa Serum Foundation in four and it was just way too light on my skin. So I ordered six instead. So I thought maybe a three in, in the powder would work, but it's, it's more like a, like a bronzer like a really light bronzer. So I'm gonna try it like that instead, I think today, cause I think this, woo, that's a cool consistency. Anyway, I think that might, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try it on the outside of my skin first, um, just in case it dries down too dark. Cause it could, there is a chance here that this could maybe match me. You know how it always puts a, a film on top and you're like, oh, that's not my shade. And then it goes away and you're like, oh, Maybe that's my shade. Maybe I spoke too soon. Let's find out. So they say to use a dense brush to set. Cause again, it is, it is very like serum -y in consistency. So let's see what happens. Still feels very serum -y. I don't get uh, any sort of like a powdery finish, which is interesting. Dense brush, dense brush, dense brush. Where are you? I know I have one, here you are. Use this one. This is the dense brush from the Sigma Taylor Wynn collection. So let's see what this looks like. Right, I'm just tapping it delicately into this. I don't know how much to, to do here. And then what am I supposed to do with it? Tap, okay, tap to set. This is looking okay, right? This might work actually. Put a little bit on the brush and tappy tap. Ooh. That is blurring. See my forehead right now? Look how blurring that is. Oh my gosh, it's like I have a, like a filter in my mirror here. Wow. I hope it's like picking up on camera because, oh my gosh. That's wild, that's wild. Ooh, how is it gonna look under the eyes? Ooh, should I set it under the eyes? Mm, I feel like that's gonna change the, the shade and the consistency. Might set that with a translucent powder just because we are testing concealers today. But let's see how it does in covering up all my, my pores here. Also, I'm just genuinely curious what this is gonna feel like on my skin. Like, is my skin gonna feel set or is this just gonna feel like I'm putting a, like, a, a balm on my skin and it's just gonna fall off my face? So far, so good. It does feel a little on the heavy side, so I might try it next. I'm gonna try it without any foundation on, because now that I understand the consistency and the coverage a little bit more, I feel like it, it'll look good with it just as it is. Use a little bit of my Rare Beauty powder for under my eyes. Okay, so far I like it, it just, feels like it might be a little heavy, especially for every day. I'm curious what this looks like just on its own. Cause you can use your fingertips too for like putting it on. So that might be like a nice quick and easy fast and go. Now I wanna show you guys the blushes and the highlight that I got. It was also from Winky Lux and I couldn't help myself. I saw one of them online and then I realized they had the other one and I was like, well, I, I guess I need both. They're so beautiful, okay? They're so beautiful. The first one is a cream blush. This is the Cheeky Rose Blush. And then the other one is the Cheeky Rose Highlight. It is a cream highlight. And they're so beautiful. I'm, even, I'm gonna take them out of the box so you can appreciate how beautiful they are. Just sometimes it's nice to have something just a little extra. And I feel like this, <gasps> so much more beautiful in person. Look at this. Is that not stunning? Hold on, camera, stop focusing on me. I am not, not the thing right here. Look at this, there we go. Look at that, that is incredible. I have no words, I have no words for the beauty that is this product. <laughs> okay, and there's a blush, equally as beautiful. Arr! Even the packaging is pretty, like the nice foil detail. So these are cream formulas that are supposed to just melt into the skin and blend out seamlessly. Look, look at this color, oh my gosh. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's everything I wanted and more. I need this on my face right meow. I almost don't want to touch it. I just want to look at it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do it. I want to though, doing this under protest because it's very beautiful and I don't want to ruin it. <sighs> okay, we'll do it. Okay, it still holds its shape, which makes me happy. Let's look at the shade here. I don't know how pigmented it is, so I did just a little bit to start just in the off chance that it's like super pigmented. Okay, it looks like I can build it a bit. 
Ooh, that's such a pretty shade. Oh, what a surprise. Rachel found a blush that she really likes. That's so pretty. Like, look at that. It's blending so nicely into my skin. No issues at all. Oh my gosh. It is perfection. It's everything I wanted and more. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, 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 this is very exciting. Hold, I'm gonna put on some bronzer. All right, we're bronzed. Now let's do the highlight. I'm gonna use my, f mm -hmm. no, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna use my fingertips, but I'm too scared. Okay, again, I don't know how much to use of this. It's not really showing up on the brush here. Oh, it's very subtle, hold on. Okay, this one is a lot more subtle than I was expecting. Not that, that there's anything wrong with that. It's, it's still really beautiful. And the color is nice too. It's more like the colors that I like that kind of neutral, not too gold, not too pink, nice champagne. I entirely forgot I put purple highlight in the inner corner of my eye. <laughs> Good for me. Let's see if I can put some of this with it. Right in it. Ooh, like that, okay. Yeah, this stuff isn't gonna like melt down immediately and just disintegrate into your... <laughs> into your jar here, that's good. So this right here is the makeup look. Let's do a little of the, um, the caudalie on top, just a little bit. There we go, nothing crazy. I'm just kind of curious how it would feel, how it would set, you know? All right, I think we're good now. So now I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I will check in with you guys in a little bit and we'll see how the makeup is wearing. All right guys, it is now the end of the day. Um, so I have some thoughts. I feel like the foundation is just sitting really heavy on my skin. I'm gonna try it again and I will put a comment down below if I have tried it before this video goes up um, of it just on its own. Cause I think for me at least, I don't love how it's looking on my skin. And honestly, I'm not super thrilled with how either of the um, concealers held up, so I'm gonna try those again with maybe like a different setting powder or something. The mascara on my upper lashes looks great. That's about it. <laughs> I am curious if those Pacifica uh, reusable silicone pads kind of maintain their stickiness though, so um, I'm gonna continue to use them. Let me know down below if you've tried them before and make sure if you haven't already to download Karma. I will put a link down below for you guys. Thanks so much to Karma for sponsoring today's video. Check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any and I will see you guys all in the next video. Mwah.